see how this goes, fry guy. It's too sunny. So let's test out the wireless go to and my Insta360 camera. Let's see how this is going to work. I've got both microphones hooked up, one on my shirt and one on the selfie stick with it, the little mini dead cat. I want to see if it gets the background noise or the background sounds. I guess it shouldn't be called noise as well as my own microphone. Now, pardon my breath, because it's been a while since I've walked this dog. This is only the second day. I'm starting to walk him again after about six months of of not. So the hills in the neighborhood here are a bit much. I'm not, I haven't conditioned myself again. So you can hear a lot of heavy breathing. So I'd like to see how this whole setup works on, on the hikes I go with, I, I go on with Godfrey, out in the mountains or on the trails. So this is just around the neighborhood. It'll be kind of a good little test, I hope. Go pee. That's the official command, by the way. Go pee. Godfrey does not like the camera over the top of his head. He's suspicious of it. So we'll just move it back out. This will 
be good to test the wind. See how high that looks. This is, this is quite the hill. Oh, I think I just hit the dog with the camera. This is a pretty good hill. I think it's one of the, the steepest that I walk, because it's, it's short, but it's a pretty good incline. This is the longest hill, but it's more gradual than the others. You only feel that on the way back because right now I'm going down.
Oke, okay, kopi. I'm trying to move this camera through the trees with a selfie stick like it's a drone but I have to watch at the same time because people let their dogs poop here and don't don't necessarily pick it up it's like a landmine Now, on our walk in the subdivision, there are, of course, no garbage cans. So I have to keep his poop securely sealed in a pocket if it's not in the summer. Uh, but there's only two, maybe three real designated places where he can go to the bathroom where it's kind of no man's land otherwise um, it's everybody's property and I've never been comfortable let my dog create waste on other people's properties because I don't want it myself and but I do pick it up which is not a big custom like that I guess here I don't see a lot of people picking up Now we've come to the end of the road, the end of the subdivision, with the biggest lot in the area. It's like four acres from what I saw online, with like its own walking trails in the back. That's this place here, which of course you can only see if you're looking at video. So I don't know why I just pointed to it and referenced it. kind of move. I just swept the camera up above Godfrey's head. That kind of thing spooks him. The other thing I'm interested to see with this whole setup is that I really stink at using the latest software for this stuff. You know, it's supposed to be simple, but it's, it's like I put in the video and there's maybe I'm just used to like, I guess the old school stuff where you kind of have to do everything for yourself. And a lot of this just kind of happens automatically. You select clips and you let the software do its job. And it's, it's difficult for me. I feel like maybe the loss of control is a problem. We'll see. I'm going to give it a shot.
I'm doing this in multiple clips over the walk. To see if that helps me put it together. All right, now we're entering the longest hill. This is the one we just finished walking down. Now we're walking back up. And pretty much after this one is done, the rest is easy. quite the walk. The entire walk when I do the whole thing, it's a couple of miles maybe, it takes roughly 45 minutes or so. An hour depending on the heat, humidity, my level of energy. It's a pretty decent walk. Now back when I lived in the Chicago area, I would walk Godfrey just about every day. It's all flat. So we'd do probably three miles or so. Stop off at a park where you could then play fetch, tire himself out and then we'd go home. But here we're not next to a park so he doesn't have that luxury anymore. But I'll tell you, these hills, as him and I both get old, it's, uh, I think it's enough. Okay, we've rounded the corner onto the last side street. There's a neighbor. Hello. <laughs> it's a German Shepherd. Try to get as much of a bird's eye view as possible. Anyway, we just finished the last cul-de-sac. Now we just finish off this street, turn a corner, turn another corner, and then the last hill, and then we're home. I wonder what the angles are supposed to be on these selfies. I know all the, I, I am not that savvy with angles, lighting. It's too much to think about. I just kind of want to do it. Whatever happens, happens. Hopefully it's halfway decent. That's also why I'm getting, trying to get uh, these other pieces of equipment. You're the woodpecker? Anyway, um, that's why I'm getting these new pieces of equipment because they do things that maybe my phone just can't do or it takes a lot of work. I'm just gonna see if I can throw these things in the 
in the app that comes with the camera and see what it can give me. Hoping I don't have to do a lot of work for it. Up there somewhere in that pine. Second to last hill, almost at the top. Hello. There we go, up the last hill. Pray we don't get killed. I hear him, but don't see him. Oh, looks like they're going to put a fence everywhere. Around their whole yard. Neat. Next door neighbor. This house over here on my left just sold and people just moved in, so I don't know if these are the new people or not. All downhill from here. That's my house with the Jeep. If you're seeing on video, I'm gonna see if I can pull some snapshots from this, some stills. I'm not sure how any of this works yet. Hopefully I, I can, I can include that in the chapter images. So we come to the end of another walk. This was truly a casual hike. Just walking the dog. Doesn't get more casual than that.